Hello Stephen, thanks for all of those points. Your notes were taken into account and faithfully reported in the summarized live stream which was just played, your words spoken of course by Steve, bring the doom, Kurtz. If I may I will now adopt the alter ego of Woguru. Looney Tune, Roger, the slogger, Lewis. Winston Churchill said that the USA and Great Britain were two peoples divided by a common language. What you seem to have missed in my prosequence example is that linguistics, semiotics and semantics are all relevant to the dialects of, rhetoric, logic, mathematics, and science, also psychology and indeed mass media communication. David Malone the science documentary writer and producer, a man I am proud to say is my friend, says that starting assumptions must always be clarified and challenged where they exclude certain lines of inquiry or argument, it is not a non sequitur to define one's own definition of terms. In a very extensively read and debated blog of David's another of my correspondents on matters dismal science said this. Dave Taylor October 13, 2018 at 11.26 a.m. HTTPS colon slash slash www.golemxif.co.uk slash 2016 slash show one slash rebranding descent slash. He projects his own truthfulness onto whatever anyone other than the immediate dissenter is telling him, and critically critically accepting lies, not seeing through all those Schopenhauer evasions and perpetuating the damage made by acting as if they rather than his interest free credit card understanding of money were true. Wishful thinking to avoid seeing himself as wrong? Of course we need to revise economic teaching, but in my view adult teaching ought to start with the old advice, know thyself, starting from the Jungian personality analysis in for example Isabel Briggs Meyer's Gifts Differing, and the Freudian transactional analysis of Vera States in T.D. Harris's I'm OK, You're OK. It is not a bad idea to read brain guru Dr. Edward de Bono on lateral thinking, parallel thinking, on perception and I am right. You are wrong, and reading the riot act in new thinking for the new millennium. Perhaps there is hope in the chaos theory story of the flapping of a butterfly's wings seeding a hurricane? This could well be referring to you and your, not a rebuttal, rebuttal of my, rebuttal. On other matters the notes blog may also require some addressing, I would not want you claiming to have been blindsided. Your flimsy defense so far seems to suggest you are running scared of discussing your paper which is actually comprehensively deconstructed and negated in a childish cartoon but also the written text. My annotated essay will complete the job. There are few redemptive qualities in your paper Stephen, it may be excused in that it is 20 years old, charitably we could allow that it has not aged well. I am of course only too happy to allow you the platform to defend it, should you wish to. You really are being rather unpleasant old chap. There really is no need to concern yourself with my well-being, I am as strong as an ox and bright as a new box of buttons. The thing I have noticed with you for I'm sliding thought police types especially that side of the pond is this hole, are you taking your meds, you must be high ad hominem, is standard issue and first resort at the first sign of any wrong think. Frankly, it's pretty pathetic, you know what, you need to get used to losing, there's going to be rather a lot of it for you establishment banking types. It's real world guys like me that will have to clear up the mess you all made, but of course you were really only just following orders I suppose. Anyway, tune in Friday and I will finish the job, your paper really is not very good I am not surprised you have forgotten who you did and did not quote, rest assured I will not. Non sequitur, literary device. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia formal fallacy. A non sequitur, English. Slash an ensquitar slash an sequitar, classical Latin, no enskit, it does not follow, is a conversational literary device, often used for comedic purposes. It is something said that, because of its apparent lack of meaning relative to what preceded it, one, seems absurd to the point of being humorous or confusing. This use of the term is distinct from the non sequitur in logic, where it is a fallacy. In philosophy, a formal fallacy, deductive fallacy, logical fallacy or non sequitur one, Latin for it does not follow, is a pattern of reasoning rendered invalid by a flaw in its logical structure that can neatly be expressed in a standard logic system, for example propositional logic. 2. It is defined as a deductive argument that is invalid. The argument itself could have true premises, but still have a false conclusion. 
3. Thus, a formal fallacy is a fallacy where deduction goes wrong, and is no longer a logical process. This may not affect the truth of the conclusion, since validity and truth are separate in formal logic. With respect to the authorities which he was so keen to fall back on. I offer 1. Rosling and the UN data. 2. James Corbett's substantial defenestration of Ehrlich, pseudoscience charlatan. 3. Webster Tapley's comprehensive evisceration of Ehrlich and Holden's ecoscience. 4. Vatslav Smiles, Energy and Human Civilization and the essay which I quoted setting out the two extremes of the debate. This part particularly I would like to stress. As Sovi, 1990-1949, 774, noted crisply, lack of precision in data and in method of analysis allows shortcuts toward reaching an objective predetermined by prejudice, shaped largely either by faith in progress or by conservative skepticism. Unfortunately, less extreme estimates have been hardly more impressive. Because the question of the ultimate support capacity cannot have a single correct answer, assessing the value of past estimates must be done by looking at their assumptions. Too many of them are overly simplistic, and even the more elaborate ones are usually difficult to defend. In general, the capacity predictions assume too much as well as too little. Most notably, they almost completely ignore the demand side of the question. Smell. To quote Pauli, Ehrlich and Haldren are nicktime malfalsche not even wrong. There is no there there in the overpopulation hysteria which they spout and which you in turn faithfully parrot. The overpopulation crock to use one of your favorite pejoratives, is a dead parrot, it has gone to meet its maker, it is deceased, dead, it no longer is and as with the fabled Norwegian blue it has ceased to be. Thank you. How? Again, funny!